recreating outfits with clothing that's already in my closet, shopping in New York City, this week's fashion finds, and this month's monthly report. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura, and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of experimenting with my videos and trying to figure out how we can do more on this channel, how we can add segments that are helpful. Today, instead of the usual when I remake an outfit and show you what's in stores, I am going to recreate some outfits with the things that already are in my closet. I will also give you options simply because we don't have all the same things and you might have to use your deck because you might not like something that I'm wearing, but we're gonna switch it up a bit and I am recreating the outfits myself. Plus, I got two new pair of jeans that we're gonna talk about and I just, uh, you guys, you really helped me out. All right, so let's start with the first outfit. So the outfits that I chose to recreate are very simple. They're not overly like fashion-y. They're very day-to-day, -day, for me anyway. <laughs> they're very day-to-day -day and they're not complicated. I chose to do it that way for several reasons. One, you guys know if you've been following me for a while, um, that I kind of like a simple clean lines type of outfit and then the dramatics and the glamour kind of come in um, in the accessories right and the other reason why I chose to do some really some really simple pieces or some really simple outfits is because again if you're not new here you know that I'm kind of rebuilding my closet and tweaking it for what my style has evolved into and also um, it's going with my weight loss because I'm in the middle or towards the end of a weight loss. So the first outfit that I'm going to show you is very simple, but also very much right now. Jeans are oversized. The, um, the blazer is oversized. It's really sleek. She doesn't have a lot of jewelry and which is different for me because I love a bit of jewelry, <laughs> but I will of course use my debt. So the first thing I had to do in the debt was to look for a pair of jeans. And you guys, you told me about Good American. First of all, you guys told me a lot of different jean companies that I cannot wait to try out. But because um, Good American was the easiest and the most accessible, I started with them. So I did these jeans um, from Good American. I don't remember the name. I'm sure I have it on the screen somewhere, right? Um, and they are a bit big, so I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and return them and size down. And they are super long, like the inseam, I forgot what the inseam was, but it, the inseam was like 38 or something. And that's definitely not my inseam. However, you guys were so spot on with the, the fit of them. I, I didn't, y'all should have told me to size down, but they're comfortable. These are baggy. I have not been able to find a pair of baggy jeans that also, um, that actually look baggy. My thighs always fill out the baggy, <laughs> the baggy jeans. These are not, right? That's the one thing. The other thing is they're kind of high, but I think it's because they're a little bit, a little bit too big and a little bit too long, but they totally give me the same vibe or a similar vibe to what she's wearing in the picture. So I know I needed a pair of jeans that were a similar vibe. On top of that, I knew I needed an oversized blazer and I like hers, it's pinstripe, but I don't have a pinstripe black blazer. I do, however, have a black blazer and then I have a cream blazer that is pinstripe. So let's try on the black blazer to see if it gives a similar vibe that um, it does in the picture. So it does give a similar vibe to what it does in the picture. Um, it's very sleek and I'm um, be honest with you, I kind of love it, but I need something else to go with it, some type of accessory. I was thinking these silver kitten heel sling bags that I got from Mango a while ago. And since I don't have the pleasure of having that big old Birkin, I'm going to use my Dior silver metallic bag to go with this outfit and to give it that extra bit of glamour, which I am a big 
fan of. Now I would automatically go for a pair of aviators because that's like my everyday is a my YSL aviators I've been wearing a lot lately. Um, but she has a pair of smaller sunglasses in the picture. So I'm going to try these YSL Cadillac sunglasses I showed you guys um, in a previous video. Don't mind my robe over here. I just took off. And then we have something very similar um, to what she's wearing. It's a similar vibe, not exactly the same. It's a little bit of me. I would also maybe consider putting on some big silver, um, my big silver stapled earrings. I have on my diamond studs, so I'm just going to leave it at that just because of the sake of ease and time right now. But this whole thing is very very similar. Then I start to think that maybe I prefer having the pinstripes over having a black blazer. So let's look at the pinstripe blazer with this outfit as opposed to the black one. So I actually showed you guys this blazer in another video. It comes with pants but with jeans like baggy jeans. I love this. I love this. You see it's simple clean lines not too much going on but then I bring in the metallic which is super trendy and also very glamorous and the little peak so 2000s and I love it the little peak of silver under the big long pair of jeans chef's kiss now I am probably gonna have to get these jeans altered um, because they're long and I know that's the style but I have to walk. <laughs> I have to be able to walk. Plus, New York City is not the cleanest city. Let's be let's be clear. I like my pants dragging on the floor. So they will still be long. They just won't be as long. So I'm definitely getting those hemmed. But as a look, I like this. I have a few options as far as jeans. And an oversized blazer is just an easy thing. They're everywhere at this point. They're very much on trend. They don't have to be super duper oversized like the Frankie Shop one, but there are many, many options. And of course, it doesn't have to be this over the top type of silver bag. It can be any color, anything that you love and deem fabulous. So she looks absolutely so cool in this outfit. This is definitely not normally something that I would go for. In fact, I forgot that I had a bomber jacket because I don't wear it that often. One and two, it's a little big. It doesn't fit me the way I would love for it to fit me. But when I saw this outfit, I knew first of all, I'm not wearing a little bitty tiny shirt because my stomach is not as flat <laughs> as hers is. And two, that I would definitely have to use my debt to make this fall more into my style. I love the accessories. I love the necklace. I love how it's layered. I love the aviators. I just think it's a really cool outfit. I, I didn't know if it would translate into something that I would wear or something that would work for me. I love that it's all black. <laughs> you know, I love color, but all black always gets me as well. So let me show you what I got and let me show you why it doesn't work for me. So we're going to put on this bomber jacket. This bomber jacket is from um, a collab at Target and it's slipping my mind, but it is a Target buy. And when I bought it initially, um, I was a few pounds heavier, which is fine because oversized is totally in, but it's not falling the same on my body and it doesn't look good <laughs> but let me show you let me show you on so in my opinion this just doesn't work it's like it's flat there's nothing to it I feel like if the bomber were a little shorter like if the bomber worked like right here 
right? It'll give me a little more shape. But since it's so long, it's doing nothing for me. And I don't have all those beautiful um, necklaces. So if I really wanted to recreate this and use my debt, that's something that I would have to go and buy. But I do have this um, from ASOS. It's not long, but it is just a statement necklace. Also looks like she has on um, a pair of Fendi like dad sandals. I don't have those. I do, however, have these from Schutz. I've showed you guys these a million times. They even have a new um, iteration of them. This just doesn't work for me. Even if I, I usually like pull up the sleeves and like try to work it, it's just not me. It doesn't work. I don't like how it's laying on me. Like I said, I wish this was a little shorter. Um, ah, not my favorite. So what would I do instead? So an oversized bomber doesn't work for me, but an oversized double-breasted blazer works much better. So this is also from H&M. In fact, the other two things are for H&M. I forgot to show you in the first re in the first outfit, but they are also from H&M. So though this is quite different, just this just works better for me and not only my style, but the way that my body is shaped, in my opinion, where I am in my weight loss, this just makes me feel a little more comfortable. I would add my daily YSL aviators. <laughs> and believe it or not, you guys, this is a old, old Dooney and Burke bag that I would probably use to, with this outfit. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably wouldn't wear these um, sandals with it, but for the sake of doing um, debt and trying to get a similar outfit, this is what I'm gonna do with this look. But if you much rather have a bomber, you do have some options. And a pair of black trousers are extremely easy to find now. They are everywhere. And of course you can get the Fendi dad sandals that she had on, or you could get these some shoots that I've been talking about forever. They come in so many different variations and so many different colors. Okay, so again, this is a very simple outfit. Nothing really much to, to recreate in that um, you just have to pick out the things or choose, right? The things from the outfit that are the most appealing to you and what you want to do when you create your outfit. So this outfit is definitely something I would just throw on when I'm running around. I might use my debt if I knew it was going to be a long day and wear sneakers as opposed to heels, like some red sneakers that I don't have. If I did, I would, you know, use that instead. But because this is so simple, um, everybody can do this. So she has on a white t-shirt. This is my white t-shirt I have on. This is from Uniqlo. The, one from, the ones from Uniqlo and also the ones from Cause are my favorite. And then she has on a pair of what look like kind of boot cut jeans. I do have a pair of boot cut jeans, but they don't have, or they're not that color, they're darker. So I had to use, like choose, uh, use my dead again to see which, which was more important, either the color or the shape of the denim. And in my case, it was the color for a few reasons. One, um, because I got these new jeans <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys. These are the second pair of jeans I got from Good American. They are not as long. Like I, you know, I could walk without them dragging on the floor. Um, but they are also not as baggy. I wanted some jeans that were baggy, but also wanted some that were like kind of in the middle. I'm still on the hunt for like a straight pair, like a straight um, pair of jeans, straight leg pair of jeans that go all the way down to my ankle. But these are good as well. Again, the sizing, I might have to size down a little bit, but probably not. I don't have to because these are super duper comfortable. You guys were not playing when you told me about good American jeans. So the jeans the t-shirt and then what makes this outfit a little interesting is the red heels that she has on. I do not have those red heels but I do have a pair of kitten heel boots um, from Paris, Texas. 
and I also have a beautiful red clutch that matches pretty well. And then I have this coat from Cause. You guys saw me go to Cause and be excited that I can get this coat at the clutch. And it's a very similar look. Now what she has on as far as sunglasses um, are like a really thin black pair, which I definitely can do. But I thought why not go for the red Lorve ones and keep the red accessories going. If you don't like red, you can use a different color. If um, you don't like clutches, of course, you use your top handle or your crossbody. There are so many different ways to do this outfit because it's just a very standard, easy outfit. White t-shirt, jeans, fancy accessories, and a beautiful coat. And if I really wanted to use my debt and get a little crazy, <laughs> instead of the black coat, I can use this leopard coat. Leopard and red, I love. I know some people think it's basic, whatever. <laughs> I like it together. I can use this as opposed to the black coat if I'm feeling like doing a lot. This is not a remake. This is just to illustrate um, the fact that sometimes you have something in your closet. I have been looking or I was looking all winter at this Frankie Shop coat. I loved it. <laughs> I love a dramatic, um, glamorous kind of coat. I even loved the little baggy jeans with it. And I was just in and out of my coat, cart, in and out of my cart. But at the same time, you guys, I had this coat. And eventually I said to myself, you don't need it. All you have to do is wear what you have. And now after I've gotten these, clearly that need to be hemmed pants, <laughs> these pants from, or these jeans from um, Good American, and I have this coat, it's a very similar look, right? I really didn't need that Frankie Shop coat because it's a very similar look. I mean, honestly, it's just as fabulous. So this is my little remaking of outfits. Hopefully we can do this more often. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Last week we did some shopping. I finally got my hands on that leather coat um, and it is absolutely gorgeous in person. My only issue is that I can't put it over my shoulder. So I'm still kind of on the fence on that. There are a few other things that I did have my eye on. So we did go shopping this week in Soho. Hey girl, hey. So I woke up this morning and asked Alexa what the temperature was. And she said 30 something degrees. I said, I beg your pardon. <laughs> so we are back in scarves and big furry coats for right now. So do you guys remember this outfit from the last video that I kind of put together right then? I said, this is a cute outfit. I have everything I need here except for the Adidas or the black and white shoes. So I'm gonna go into the city today and get those we're going together. And I still don't have um, the big work bag that I was looking for. And of course, we're always going to be looking, of course, we're always gonna be looking for some clothes to wear during my transition. So the main thing right now is me going to get those sneakers so I have this full look <laughs> and then we'll see what else that I can find. So finally, they had something. I got the Adidas, and I guess I'm just like every other <laughs> fashion girl out there with these Adidas. But we're gonna go to Cause, because it's right over here. And of course, I hope they have something, but I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> we'll see.
These are good. Oh my gosh, I love these. It is very hard to talk to you guys in store because I'm always playing music and kind of hard to talk to you in the street because New York City is loud. But did you guys see that red purse? I showed you guys it in another video. And in person, let me tell you, absolutely stunning. Cause has some beautiful things going on right now. All right, so let's see where else we can go. Yeah, so far so good. There was actually this huge bucket bag that I saw at Banana Republic and I wanted to go see it in person. Like, is it too big? It looks gorgeous on mine, but it also looks ginormous. So I'm hoping I can see it. Absolutely nearly impossible to vlog in there. But you guys, that bag in Banana Republic was actually really good. Not as pretty as I thought it was going to be, but it is pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop and shoot. And then I want to go into Uniqlo because they have my favorite t-shirt. I just got an email that a pair of some expensive shoes that I ordered are about to be delivered, so we have to cut this shopping trip short. But I will show it to you when I get home. So last week, because I was doing something different, we didn't have any fashion finds. And this week, of course, we're getting back to normal and I'm showing you the great things that I found this week. So my YouTube friend, Shani, if you don't follow her, I will put her in the description box. She put this bag up on her page, her YouTube page, and I, I had not seen it yet. So thank you to Shani for this bag. And I want to get to Pauline hopefully soon to go see it in person. But I feel like this bag is interesting. The folds are a little different. And I'm wondering if it's going to make this bag heavy. The last Pauline bag I had, I ended up selling because it was so heavy. And this is actually looking kind of heavy. So I'm going to go see it in person. And I'll let you guys know. If you've seen it already in person, talk to me. Let me know your thoughts. Is that a weird bag? And the other thing I wanted to show you, I talked about earlier in the vlog, is this Banana Republic bag. It, I don't think the one that I saw in Banana Republic when I was in there for that short period of time you saw in the little vlog, I don't think this is the same bag, but this looks stunning. If you are into that really simple modern look, this will do it. It's a really beautiful, minimalistic, classic, oversized bag. Source Unknown and Source Unknown has been having some really nice things lately. It's funny because someone asked me if I, um, where I got one of my sweaters from and I told them Source Unknown. 
And they thought I was messing with them until they realized Source Unknown was the name of the website, which I think is hysterical. But you guys, is this cute? This outfit cute? Or is it giving 1970s grandpa? <laughs> I couldn't tell. Let me know what you think. This bomber would also be so cute in that earlier outfit I was trying to show you that I didn't work out. But this is like the cutest little bomber, right? It stops where, um, I, I rather it stop. I don't like a long bomber on me. The shoulder pads are cool. This is an interesting take on a bomber. And then this huge bag is Stunning. Now, I don't think I could walk around with this every day, but maybe as a gym bag or a work bag, it's just different than a lot of things that we're seeing right now, and I like it. And then we have another bomber. This is also very beautiful, right? The gray doesn't necessarily work for me, but maybe with some gold jewelry, but the pockets and the shoulder pads all work well together, and I think it's beautiful. And then, did you guys know there was a Stuart Weitzman outlet? Like, and if you did, why you ain't tell nobody? <laughs> I, I actually had no idea. I'm not quite sure, like, where have I been? But these were on the Stuart Weitzman outlet. And if you love a snakeskin print, which is very in the season, and you love a slingback, which is also very in, I feel like these would be a fabulous option. So if you love the oversized brown suede bag trend but you really don't want to spend a lot of money i've seen some beautiful bags for two three hundred dollars and up this one from asos is only 69 dollars. i believe it's real suede and it's still giving what every other bag is giving it is such a good value and when i saw this i was almost shocked because they could definitely be charging more for this but yeah, I wanted to show you guys just in case you like the style, but didn't want to spend a lot of money. Speaking of the oversized brown suede bag trend, this one from and other stories is not as inexpensive as the one from ASOS, but still a great buy. It's beautiful. It's great quality. It looks like everything else from Kate to Totem, all those other brands, those minimal brands that everyone is loving. And again, it's a decent price, not as inexpensive as the ASOS, but not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So Linda Faro is a sunglasses brand that um, is pretty expensive, right? I do have a pair of Linda Faro sunglasses. However, I did not pay full price for them. And actually I have two. I paid probably 60% off. And I've been looking at these for some time now, but I absolutely refuse to pay the five, $600 that they are. I found them for about 40 to 60% off and I will put it in the description box as usual, but I thought these were so cool. If you don't like the lens on these, they also come in all black. They come in um, a brown lens and a brown frame. And if you just like the shape of them, but don't like the color, there are many options and I found them all on sale. It's so interesting to me how bad trends have changed so much within the last four or five years like since the pandemic this is very much a bag that i would have worn in the early 2000s the late 90s it's giving minimal it's giving chic it's giving very right now everyone's going for the minimal not everyone <laughs> but the fashion industry is very much going for the minimal 90s chic type of vibe and this is what this gives and this is real leather it is all it also comes in black and i believe a lighter brown i love the chocolate brown and gold because i don't have a beautiful chocolate brown bag that i love and i think this is a great option if that is your style so i had to come back to source unknown i actually finished this part of the video but i had to put this in this fabulous find this week this is the chicest dress, blazer dress that I have seen in a while. I'm sure you can use it as just a blazer if this is too short for you, but the shoulder pads, the uh, the collar, the way it's shaped, I just, I gagged. Again, this is from Source Unknown. They have been coming out the gate lately and I am so very impressed. Last month, I finally decided 
that my weekly report that I did once a month was going to change to a monthly report. And I'll be doing this at the end of every month. So the last Sunday in every month. If you are not new here, you know that a weekly report is simply what I'm reading, what I'm eating, what I'm playing, what I'm obsessing over, what I'm recommending, and what I am doing to treat myself. So this is my monthly, not weekly, report. So I am actually reading, um, auto-booking <laughs> three books right now. This torn book is actually a book that is written by my god sister. It's on Amazon. And I'm not just saying this because she's my god sister. I love her very much. <laughs> but this book is like a sci-fi that also makes you think about the world and the state of the world. I'm not usually into sci-fi books. I'll watch a sci-fi movie, but books not so much. But this has really just, uh, it brought me right on in. I think that Ampara did a fabulous job. I'm actually reading this again just because I enjoyed it so much. It's always nice when somebody close to you is so talented. And like I said, I'm not saying this because it, she is my god sister. If it was bad, I wouldn't tell you guys. <laughs> but I feel like she did an amazing job. I'm also finishing the parable of the sower. Sometimes I'm listening and reading so many audible books um, that I forget about the books that I'm reading. So I had to go back to Parable of the Sower. I do have like half way through. Also a book that will really make you think. And then I am, I'm rereading a lot, I guess, this Atomic Habits. I am a person um, that is very type A. If you haven't realized my videos are as perfect as I can make them. I, I even watch back my videos and realize that the mistakes that I made is very frustrating, but I'm trying to get out of being a perfectionist. But anyway, Atomic Habits is one of those books that um, you can reread and learn something new every day. It's a very easy read. And I don't know, I'm just thinking that that's something everybody should read and I've been enjoying it. So this is eating and I was going to do something else, but I feel like this also counts <laughs> because I am technically eating these. So this is is um, a few supplements that I've been taking and they are gummies. They're vegan and I know that they had to be gummies because if they weren't, I would probably struggle taking them. So I'm really just starting with the supplements and things uh, that help my body and my skin. And listen, I'm not young. <laughs> I am not a 20 something. So I want to make sure that my body's getting everything that I need, especially now that I've been losing weight. I don't think um, I've been getting all the nutrients that I'm supposed to be getting. That's why I've been really working on my protein. That's another video we're going to talk about. Um, but these vitamins are something that's been helping me. So they're hum vitamins. I've been taking one for my hair, my nails. Um, this ashwagandha is, um, it's supposed to help with so many different things. This one I'm actually almost out of and they are not producing anymore because I can't get the right materials, which is sad. But that's supposed to be for my skin. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, so I'm going to finish it up. But I don't think I've been taking it long enough to tell you that it's good or not. And then vitamin D, because apparently um, most of us don't get enough vitamin D. Particularly people with melanin, black folks, brown folks, um, because the melanin in our skin apparently doesn't absorb the sun um, as much as other folks. So vitamin D is very important apparently. <laughs> like I said, I'm learning and reading. You guys know I love to learn and educate myself. So yeah, this is what I'm quote unquote eating. I usually for playing, usually talk about music, but I wanted to show you what I'm playing on my TV, right? So for some strange reason, I have been feeling nostalgic for times where I've been alive and times when I haven't. So I've been watching a bevy of things. This is all a very mixed bag of things that I've been watching. But the first thing, I've really gone back to the 90s and I decided to watch Living Single from the beginning. And it is absolutely hysterical to me. One, just to remember how it felt to be in a time where there was no cell phones. And two, I feel like the jokes still stand. <laughs> Now, I don't remember season one that well, I think because I was um, a, like too young for it. But as the seasons go on and I 
feel there were like five or six or seven seasons, I start to remember it more clearly because I was older, right? So I'm watching Living Single. And speaking of the 90s, I'm also re-watching The Nanny. Hilarious, um, the fashion, just nostalgia. And judge me if you want to, but I am also watching Downton Abbey, which I think is just really interesting and something I know nothing about. I'm not English. Um, this is not my culture in the least, but it's just interesting to connect it to certain historical facts. And then by the same people, I've been watching The Gilded Age, which makes more sense to me because I'm a New Yorker. I'm from New York. When they mention certain names, it's funny to connect it um, to different street names and just to see how old New York was. And it's just very interesting. So I've been watching different things from Living Single to The Gilded Age, and that about sums up my personality. <laughs> and who I am. So if you're not new here, you know that I have a sunglasses situation. I have too many sunglasses for one face, but I keep going back to these two aviators um, from YSL. They are just so cool, so laid back, so easy to wear with everything. And I'm really trying to lay off of them because I have other sunglasses to wear, but I have been loving them. If you've been watching any of the vlogs in my videos, you see that I usually have on these sunglasses. So I'm going to try to step back, but I've absolutely been obsessing over them. Every time I'm outside, at least one person asks me where they're from. And yes, I was even contemplating getting these, um, but, and though, and though I love them, I think that it is just obnoxious to have three of the same sunglasses in different color, but maybe I don't know <laughs> but aviators are just one of those things that like travel to time they always look good on me they're never really out of style so I've been obsessing over these two I had the brown pair and the black pair so I am recommending a structured manicure I was one of those people that got um, acrylics for years and years and years and it completely messed up my nails they were thick they didn't look natural they just they weren't it anymore right for me anyway I know people still get them um, but they're not the healthiest I mean honestly gel isn't either let's be honest <laughs> but this structured manicure that's what they call it where I get my nails done um, with a builder gel have been saving my life I could recommend going to the lack lab if you're in New York City more particularly in Brooklyn because this is in Brooklyn the lack lab I have had no issues with when you go in there, there's music playing, it's clean, you make an appointment, you could have either a Bellini or some water. It is woman owned, it also is black owned. Now, just because it's black owned doesn't mean everybody in there is black <laughs> because it's not. There is everybody's in there. Just the two women that happen to, to um, own the place are black, right? Um, and I have been loving it. When I go in there, I'm just really relaxed, right? This is the outfit I wore. <laughs> I told you guys that I got those silver Jordans. Can I also recommend sneakers? <laughs> Can I recommend sneakers? You guys are gonna laugh at me, but I was one of those people who never wore sneakers on the subway, walking around New York City, just never. But now my feet have been thanking me and I've been finding ways to make them really stick out and be part of my style, right? So these silver and white Jordan 1s recently popped up in Nike and I had to get them because I wanted them to match my Dior purse and that just like makes it more my style, right? A little glamorous. I couldn't get just white Jordans. They had to be a little silver. But anyway, that's what I wore. <laughs> that's what I wore to get my nails done. And a few of you asked me the color that was on my nails for the structured manicure and this is the builder gel by cnd and the name of the color that i get is spiced taffy and it works so well with my complexion in particular if you are my complexion um or if you just like a nice nude i feel like this works i mean i just feel like it looks fantastic i get my nails done by Allison the last few times. Anybody in there is spectacular because I've gotten them done by many people, but Allison has done me right. Someone said that this looks like a Russian manicure and it kind of is um, the way they do it. She, she is just so meticulous. Everything's dry, it's just amazing. So I wanted to show you guys and tell you guys about um, the LAC Lab, my 
manicure, my structured manicure with a builder gel and the color that I use. I'm recommending all of that. And I am actually treating myself to a trip to London. This is very last minute, so I don't know how much shopping I will be doing, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm super excited. The last time we were in Europe, um, well, six months ago, that was in Italy. We didn't get to London. I was talking to a few of my friends Easter weekend. Um, I went down south to be with my family and my friends. And I was explaining to them that you only get one life, right? And you want to see, and I want to see as much of the world as I can. Now, while it is only London and it is a similar environment to New York City, it's still something different. And I want to be able to see all of it. My question is, if you have been to London in April, let me know the weather. I have been to Europe many times. However, I have never been to Europe, particularly London, in April. Every time I'm there, it is in is in the summer. The last time we went, it was early fall. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to bring like a trench coat. I don't know. You guys let me know. And also, ugh, if you are a UK girly, please give me some recommendations for food. I do not want to get stuck at Nando's every day. <laughs> Let me know what I need to try out. But yeah, I'm treating myself to a trip across the pond. So anyway, you guys, that's it. How do you feel about me recreating the outfits and giving you your own options? As you know, I have been going back and forth. Wait, so using what's in my closet has been a struggle, but I'm working through it the more comfortable I get with my body. How did you feel about those sunglasses at cause and that beautiful purse, that red purse? Stunning. And as far as the weekly report goes, I always, it's always so interesting to me. What are you guys watching and listening to? Mainly watching. I'm always looking for like a different TV show or new music to listen to. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.